let us see question number 16 which is based on the model we have just now seen a stream of input of words and numbers are given always 19 give 21 84 for 62 14 worthy cause and then the question is which of the following would be step 3 for the above input so we will have to work it out let us see the working now what I have done is I have already drawn the table so that and I have given the input so that uh, we can save some time now the question is what is step 3 we will have to do what should come here the highest in alphabet should come here which is the highest A, G, F, W highest in alphabet W what should come here highest in number 19, 21, 84, 62, 18 so 84 should come here so we will just draw one line one line and then A now what we are doing we have now arranged now we are doing shifting A 19 G 21 F 62 14 C then shifting step 2 we shall inherit W is inherited 84 is inherited what should be the next number the word which is the alphabet which is lower than W A G F C so obviously G is the alphabet it should be the number lower than 84 it is 62 you look here 14 62 21 19 it is 62 62 here and then now we shall do shifting a 19 21 f 14 c step 3 what we shall do we shall first inherit w g inherited 62 84 inherited now what should come here an alphabet lower than G we have got A, F, C so F is the alphabet it will come here and what number should be here lower than we have got so 21 will come here now we shall shift what we shall shift A, 19, 14 C. Now we have arrived at the step 3. Step 3 is W G F A 1914 C 21 62 84. Let us look at the answer options. In the answer options, you will find option 4 is the correct answer. Step 3 is answer 4. What is step 3? They have asked and they have given various options. Option 1, option 2, option 3 and option 4. Among the given options, option 4 is the correct answer. Now let us look at the next question. Question number 17. The question number 17 has the same input. Always 19 give same input that has been given. But the question is, how many steps would be needed to complete the arrangement for the above, above input? Question number 17 is an extension of question number 16. So you, you, you need not do it again. You can continue from where you left in question number 16. Let us see the working. Now in question number 16, we have done up to this, up to third step. So now we are going to see question number 17. What is question number 17? How many steps would be needed to complete the arrangement? How many steps is the question? Always be question focused. How many steps? Now we have done up to this. Now next step is we will inherit W G F here we will inherit 
21 what should come here an alphabet lower than an alphabet lower than f it means c c will come here and here what will come 19 will come here then we have to do shifting we have only a and 40 now you will find with step 4 the alphabets are arranged in descending order w g f c a and the numbers are arranged in ascending order 14 19 21 62 and 84 therefore the arrangement is complete so the question you was asking how many steps would be needed to complete the arrangement for the above input how many steps are needed 1 2 3 4 the answer is 4 steps are required to complete the above input answer for question number 17 is 3 that is 4 steps are required to complete the arrangement in toto the working is also given in the slide for your reference now let us go to the next question question number 18 18 19 and 20 these three questions are based on this input input is 50 62 tips on 67 how can 42 stay young 17 89 for our 03 the following stands for which step of the arrangement so what is the step that is asked now let us see the working to save time I have already drawn the table and filled up the contents it has got 16 uh, various inputs various variables now what is the question the question is an input is a, a step is given we have to find out what is the step that is the question what is the step we are given some and we have to find out what is the step now we shall not do the working in the traditional manner if you do the working we will not have time we have to use intelligence and find out now here what is happening the alphabets are arranged being getting arranged in descending order look at these first three alphabets three alphabets have been arranged in descending order y t s arranged next comes 50 which is a number similarly if this is true then here the numbers must be arranged in descending order look at the numbers 62 89 67 62 it is 03 is there 42 so 42 must have been here it has not been arranged therefore first three steps are over first three steps have been completed this is step 3 step 4 is yet to happen therefore answer for this question is step 3 what is the step for the given data the step is step 3 for the given data young tips it stay it is given in a different color similarly 62 67 and 89 is different color from that we know three steps have been completed the other steps are yet to complete therefore answer for this question is step 3 you don't have to work work if you start wasting time working which is the correct step you will not be able to solve the problem by looking at it you know three steps have been completed and the answer is step 3 now let us go to the next question question number 19 which is again based on the same input now the same input is given but the word the question is different which of the words numbers below would be the fifth position from the right end in step 5 of the input let us see the working now previous question answer we will erase now input is available what is the question question number 19 question number 19 what does it say what will be the fifth position from the right end 
fifth position from the right end in step 5 that is the question now we know from the in the left the alphabets are arranged in descending order and from the right onwards the numbers are arranged in descending order so let us so here it is asking for the fifth position there are seven words and seven numbers in this arrangement totally 14 variables are there seven are numbers and seven are words so let us look at the in, in step 5 all the five items in the right extreme will only be numbers so we can logically say in, uh, in step 5 all the last five items will be numbers only it cannot be word the number will be in descending order whatever number is there in the descending order in the fifth position that is the correct answer let us now write what are all the numbers here the numbers here are 03 03 then next is 17 then next is 42 the next is 50 next is 62 then 67 then 89 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all the 7 numbers are written this is how in the final arrangement it will be there in the 5th step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this will be the number in the 5th step the 5th number in the descending order from the right end will be the actual variable so the question is what is the what is the variable in the fifth position from the right end in step 5 in step 5 all these five numbers will be arranged in descending order it will be a number only it will not be a word so which number whatever is the fifth number in descending order that will be the answer so here the answer is 42 now for the question number 19 forever young none of these they are all wrong answer the correct answer is 42 because it is the fifth number in the descending order from the right end 42 is the correct answer option 2 now let us look at the next question question number 20 which of the following would be the last step for the input now again we shall not lose time by drawing and redoing step by step what is the last step let us make an analysis of the options if you look at the options let us option 2 please remember how the final step should be there in the final step the left seven variables should be add, should be uh, alphabets which are in descending order and the uh, last seven variable should be numbers which are descending from the right okay so whichever is correct that only is the correct option now let us go to option 2 0 3 it cannot be the correct answer because we have 89 89 should be the there in the last place because the number should start descending from 89 onwards therefore uh, option 2 is wrong for the same reason option 3 is wrong in option 4 there is a problem 62 and 67 now they are not descending their order is changed therefore option 4 is wrong come to option 5 here the numbers are in the descending order properly 89 67 62 50 42 17 3 yes it is following the order but look at the words can forever it is wrong so the highest in the alphabet should be there highest in alphabet is y young should be there 
therefore it is in option uh, 3, it is starting with the can, therefore option, not option 3, option 5, option 5 is starting with the can, therefore option 5 is also wrong answer. So we can eliminate, simply looking at the options we can eliminate, we shall not waste time drawing all the 14 variables which will be mind boggling, don't do it, there is a shortcut method, look at the options, you can eliminate the option 2, 3, 4 and 5, though therefore we are left with only option 1. Let us check whether uh, it is uh, the, the, the alphabets are in the descending order and the numbers are in the ascending order. Y, T, S, O, H, F, C, yes, the alphabets are in descending order and the numbers 0, 3, 17, 42, 50, 62, 67, 89, they are in the ascending order which has to be the final step. This is the final rearrangement as per the model we have earlier seen. Therefore, the correct answer for this question, question number 20, is option 1, which you can arrive at by eliminating the wrong options instead of, and you don't have to work it out in detail. Using this method, you will be able to arrive at the answer very quickly. Thus, you know now, there can be very complex machines also. In some of the exams like grade B, Reserve Bank of India officers and State Bank of India, the machines will be having some complex characters. Some in clerical or in the PO officers, the difficulty level will be slightly less. But these machines exhibit more or less the same, uh, same logic and the same pattern of working. If you master this, you will be definitely be able to get minimum of 5 marks and maximum of 10 marks. And please remember, nowadays, the questions from sequential output machine is, a, is almost invariably there in all the competitive exam. And if you do more number of such questions, you will be able to answer the questions without doing working. Working may be necessary only for one or two. Using your common sense, logic and brilliance, you will be able to arrive at many of the answers by a process of elimination. And you will be able to score very high marks because each mark, please remember, each mark is important in the competitive exam.